villagers on this Minecraft server have been randomly disappearing. With no suspects in sight, my pet villager Kevin was in grave danger. So to protect him, I was going to build a massive hidden redstone village far from any danger in order to keep him safe. Okay, maybe I could consider some simpler options. Now, I'm gonna start off this redstone village by first getting rid of the old village. I'm so sorry, Kev. I didn't mean to blow up your whole family. Now, I want to upgrade all the things that a normal village has, such as food, storage, and defenses. But first, I'm gonna lay down the essentials and plan out the paths of the city. Oh my god, look, it's a cat. I'm not gonna kill it this time. I've learned from my mistakes. The city is beginning to shape up, except for the slight maw problem. To fix that, I have engineered a masterful piece of technology. I literally made a lamppost with a daylight sensor. Listen, man, I'm not the greatest redstone. The lampposts have been added in, and I'm going to mark down all the areas for where all the buildings are going to go. With that, we have finished the outline for this city. Dude, this city's going to look so baller. But there is one slight problem that we have. Kevin's house is pathetic. I mean, he still has to open the door with his bare hands. I don't know if I'd consider that that big of a problem. So I'm going to start with my craziest build yet. A an, an apartment complex. I don't know if I'd consider this an upgrade or a downgrade. Either way, I need to go get the materials. Now, we'll start off the apartment complex by building the base layer for the building. No, that actually, that actually looks quite nice. It also looks a little bit like the nerd emoji. Then from here, I'm going to section off the first floor and add in some other floors to house even more villagers. Oh, no. Just as I was about to add in the last bit of glass for this floor, I realized I, I, I don't have any more. Now, glass is not exactly the problem. It's the lapis that I need to dye these windows light blue. And I could either get lapis by mining or stealing from another person's bed. If you know anything about me, you know that I'm gonna steal. Oh, how'd that get there? I, I'm just kidding. This is a completely fake. I built this whole set. But no, seriously, I am gonna steal from my... Now, as a last addition to the apartment, I'm gonna add in some variation to this tower by planting some flowers and trees to these floors. And hey, man, all I can say is this thing looks magnific- mag- ma how, how the hell do you- Magnificent. Yeah, I have no idea how to say that. But dude, this thing is absolutely awesome. I mean, just look at all the trees outside, the entrance, a very nice balcony and view that we have, and a perfectly sized hole for a redstone elevator. I wonder where it's gonna go in here. I wanna die. Now, you might be wondering, after spending so long on this elevator, does it work? Honestly, I have no idea. But if I press this button right here... No, no, it's going the wrong way! It's going the wrong way! No! Oh my god, man. Please, man, just stop with that sound effect. Okay, so the elevator is now fixed, and you should be able to traverse through the villagers' rooms. I forgot to build the villagers' room. All right, dude, this room is actually not looking that bad. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to redstoning by adding in a three by three piston door. Alrighty, that works. And now to add in a daylight sensor on top, that way I can lock the villagers in at night. I swear this thing is not a prison. Lastly, I just wanna add in a very small detail to this build. The Landlordinator 5000. It's really not that serious. Basically, if any of the villagers living in this apartment refuse to pay rent, <laughs> Yeah, I made this thing very realistic. And with that final addition, we are about one-fifth done with the city. Slight problem, though. We cannot continue construction on the city because this is all the redstone I have. Now, I can't keep stealing from the other server members because if any of them suspect me of stealing, they may be able to trace it back and find the hidden redstone village. So, I'm gonna have to construct my very own redstone farm. Just cut the music, man. Building this thing has been one of the worst experiences of my life. I started off this build like how I start off most builds, by blowing up a local home. Oh my god. From here, I built a spawn platform for all the witches to spawn and covered it with some weird redstone stuff. Nope. What the hell was that? Sorry. Then I wet myself with water, of course. I repeated this process two more times. I wet myself again. 
but this time it wasn't wall. Then I AFK'd the farm for around about an hour and came back to this. No way. Dude, oh my god, look at how much redstone I have. Not only do I have infinite redstone, but I also have enough gunpowder to make more decisions that I will inevitably regret. Oh god. With a new supply of redstone, we can now finally get back to building the city. And since we got all these new materials, it would only make sense if we built a storage system. All right, I think for a whole, this is like big enough. Let me go ahead and grab some of the materials to try and build a sort of gradient for the storage system. All right, got the cherry blossom. Let's go collect some wool. All right, that was surprisingly satisfying. Let's like, let's go ahead and grab some conch. And I think there might be some magenta conch. Oh my God. All right, I, I, I think that's enough. I think that's enough. I think, I, okay. All right, now it's time to actually add in the chests and the hoppers. Dude, this thing is, uh, it's shaping up, man. Last step is to add in some of the redstone for the storage system. All right, now if I place the items in here. Oh yeah, baby. And this thing looks so sick. Well, not exactly the outside though. No, hold on, just give me a minute. There you go. I think it's safe to say that our redstone village's storage situation has now been dealt with. The inside of this thing literally looks like Barbie's dream And the building outside just fits the Redstone Village vibe so well. Having two towers in a city is just so awesome, man. Don't make the joke, don't make the joke, don't make the joke. I don't really like the sea lanterns, though. I think maybe something like the, the green frog lights might do it a little more justice. Let me go back to spawn and grab some green frog lights. I, I think that'll What had seemed like a very normal visit back to spawn was about to turn into one of the most unique and dangerous interactions of my life. Aeon from Minecraft. Oh no! Okay, maybe this guy's a bit of an idiot. This is Taz, the man allegedly responsible for the kidnapping of the first ever villager on this server. And he needed my help in order to build a thousand of these sheep statues what now if you're a little bit confused so am i basically tazo wants me to help him build a thousand of this weird sheep statue all around the outcast smp and needed my help in order to collect some of the black dye for the eyes of this statue now obviously i could never accept this deal i mean tazo is literally the most notorious villager hunter. i'm in before we can build though, there is one thing that is a bit counterintuitive. There's a small there's a small game mechanic where if a wither kills a passive mob, they drop a wither rose, which coincidentally uh, no. <laughs> gives you black dye. Oh! Uh, he's going uh, He's going I'm getting the wither roses! I'm getting the wither roses! I'm getting the wither roses! Please! Uh, uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, that was so close. I literally, I would have died, I think, in another, like, 5-10 seconds. <laughs> now, this might not seem like a big deal, because it isn't. It's a block game. But Tazo was now willing to trust me, and would maybe spare my dear villager Kevin from being kidnapped. But I can't worry about all that now, because I have the frog lights. Woo! Yeah, okay, let's go back to building the village. Before we can finish off this tower, I just wanted to remind you all to subscribe. We're getting so close to 50,000 subscribers, and if you subscribe now and join my Discord in the description below, you can claim your very own custom OG role. Alright, that is the tower now all complete. And it's now time to start on phase 3 of this redstone village by building a massive box. This took so goddamn long to build. Now, you might be wondering, why a big mysterious boss? Well, due to my newly found friendship with Tazo, we would now be under constant threat, including the Redstone Village. And since we were severely underprepared, is that iron armor? I decided to upgrade the team's gear using... I actually need all of these emeralds. This very beautiful building. I mean, just look at him, man. It literally looks like a tentacle. That is a very weird analogy. Each floor of this very beautiful building will house the trading hall for where all the villagers will exist. Speaking of villagers, I completely forgot that there aren't any in this whole village. Aside from Kevin. Because you know I blew up the rest. So I went ahead and kidnapped two villagers. You fellas ready? Uh, up we go, up we go. Let's go, buddy. Yeah. Look at him go, look at him go, man. Look at it, just my, my two boys. Hold on, does the green jacket mean he can't get a job? Hey man, it's been an honor. Thank you so much. I hope to see you soon. Yeah, okay. No, never mind. So I went ahead and moved in the villagers into a very small breeding cage. You will never see the light of day again. Then I built a railway leading all the way into the trading hall. Alrighty, let's load this thing up. Let's see, is this thing gonna work? There he is! Let's go, buddy! 
forgot about that part. We got ourselves our first farmer villager. Now I just need to do 20 more of these. All right, we now have 20 farming villagers all ready to be traded. And with. you might be wondering, Aeon, why farming villagers? Seeing as our current goal is to get rich and trade for some armor, we require a crap ton of emeralds. And what better way to get emeralds than with some? Pumpkin. So the question now becomes not why farming villagers, but how pumpkin. Well, the answer has everything to do with this hole. Let's get farming. All right, that is all the melons and the pumpkins planted. Oh yeah, I also may have forgotten to tell you, but you can also trade in some melon. <coughs> oh my god, I think there's something in my throat. Anyways, let's get back to working on the farm. All right, so the observers are in, so that way they can detect the melons and the pumpkins. Now I just need to go through and add in some pistons to break these melons and pumpkins. Also, if it hasn't been entirely obvious to you, we are building a melon and pumpkin farm. All right, the redstone is all in, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, this thing works. All right, now it's time for, actually, let me check my paper over here. Oh, no, 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 not already. No, I can't. And building the collection system for any farm is by far the most annoying part. I mean, just listen to this. Luckily, after just a couple panic attacks, get out of my head, man! We officially finished the melon and pumpkin farm. Right, I believe this thing is now fully working. Yeah, look, so it's already made us a pretty good amount out of it. Let's see how much this can get us in terms of emerald. Oh, yeah, baby. Wait, seriously, that's 20, it. 24 emeralds is all. <laughs> Seriously, my plan to getting rich was thus far extremely suboptimal. Seeing as Tazo's day of reckoning was rapidly approaching us, this was simply not gonna do. I mean, if we can't get enough gear, how am I supposed to protect Kevin? And the rest of the team too, I guess. So after racking my brain on how to get just a little bit more emeralds, it finally hit me. I just have to build like five more. And finally, after what felt like just minutes, because it was me, I didn't bother waiting that long. After just a couple minutes, we're rich, baby, we're rich. So I went ahead and got some armors, toolsmiths, and blacksmiths. And I think it's safe to say that our redstone village is now officially rich. I do still need more villagers. Though. I am a good capitalist boy after all. And a good capitalist boy must capitalize on some unpaid labor. I mean, volunteer work. Free fallen. The big problem right now is that these villagers in the fun dungeon. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good name. These villagers in the fun dungeon are not being fed quickly enough in order to poop out more babies. While I could, yes, feed them manually, it wouldn't quite be a redstone village if I had to do all the work myself. So in order to fix this problem, we're gonna need to create an automatic food source to feed these villagers. And that requires us to get some iron, some sand, and some bread. I can't believe I have to manually mine all this bread. Automating this process is gonna be so nice. And with all the new materials, it's now time to actually build the damn thing. This thing looks like it could fall over if you sneezed on it. Okay, I need to fix. Let's go fix you. Oh man, this thing looks sick. Also kind of looks like a minion. But I mean, overall, I'm really happy with how this thing turned now, out. Now, inside the tower, there are gonna be four farming villagers that exclusively harvest bread. This wheat will be transported from the top of this tower all the way to the fun dungeon at the back of the village. Oh, dude, I was just gonna have the whole flow from out here, but it would be so cool if we had like a pipe going from here. Oh, dude, you know, I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do this. This is gonna look so sick with the acacia trapdoors. That's the transportation system all done. Right, if I throw something down here, I missed. How, how did I miss? Right, now if I throw something down here and then fly over here, hold, hold, hold. Oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> all right, now for the last part, moving the villagers into the tower. <laughs> I would not wish this pain upon my worst enemies. Anyways, I went ahead and finished up the farm, and after just mere moments... Let's go! I got the bread! Right, right, now do the thing where you go, yep, 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 that thing. Anyways, we need to get on to the real problem. This village it looks disgusting. Right, just look at this place, it looks actually kind of normal. My plan to fixing this place is to first let out a bunch of villagers to freely roam around the Be city. Be free! Live your lives! Next, I want to build a small garden right next to the storage system. Mm. Garbage. Then I want to build a small statue to commemorate my boy, Kevin. Dude, that looks exactly like you. 
Speaking of Kevin, let me remind you that Tazo's Day of Reckoning is rapidly approaching. And before we have to leave this redstone village to go help build the sheep statues, I want to build Kevin a massive redstone tower that only he can live in. But first, I should probably go around and finish fixing this place up. Yeah, baby, this thing looks nice. I mean, dude, this place looks awesome, man. Adding some signs just adds little details to the build. And the trees just add so much. It makes it look so nice. And with the villagers populating this place... Wait. Actually, I haven't seen the villagers in, like, a while. Oh. Okay, okay, maybe maybe we should get started on the final part of this village. Now, the thing with normal villages in Minecraft is that they're pretty much defenseless. I mean, the evidence is literally right here. And with numerous threats to these villagers, like zombies, pillagers, and the hundred other players that will likely hunt me down after the whole sheep thing, it's safe to say that these villagers will likely need some defenses. And I'm not talking iron golems. You know, my friends have real jobs that make them real money. I just spent six hours building a Minecraft wall. I'm gonna kill myself. It is pretty solid though. Like it, from the inside, it looks absolutely beautiful. Okay, wait, maybe not this angle. But it, it does look very nice and really like captures you in the city. But a simple wall won't just do because after all, this is a redstone village. So I wanna go ahead and add some extra defenses alongside this wall just in case things get sticky. Speaking of sticky. Okay, I can see how that transition sounds a bit weird. All right, we got a crap ton of slime, and you might be wondering why slime? Well, it's because we're building a TNT cannon. All right, now, editor, cut this part so that way I say TNT cannons. Was that cool, editor, that you cut that? Basically, the way this thing works is, um... Actually, wait, does it even work? Oh, my God. Dude, this is so... Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> this is so sick. Um, the way this thing works is... I, I don't know, but it's really goddamn cool. All right, let me let me just go around and place these all around this wall. I'm done. I'm done. I built I built the TNT cannons. I built, woo! Of course, you would build a TNT. Cannon. Okay. So with the TNT cannons now in place, our village's defenses are nearly done, except for how do we get in? No, I'm just kidding. I'll do that funny little thing where I snap my finger. I'm gonna cry. Okay, so basically, I've dug a hole and made the general outline for the door. Now, what I want to do is I want to make this gate have one of those really sick flying machines that fly up and do... Whoosh, 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 you know? And an observer block on top of the no block. Oh, so block that's how you... Alright, the door's been built, and now, hypothetically, if I press this button... Oh yeah, baby, I'm so smart! I, I just followed it, sorry. The door does look a little bit ugly, so let's go ahead and fix that. Alright, not bad, not bad. Now, a simple button won't do for such a great door, so let me introduce you all to Bob. Now, say you're walking up into the village and you need to enter, but... Oh, oh, the door is locked, what do you, what do you do? Oh, look, it's, it's, it's Bob, it's Bob. Now, you go up to Bob and you give him some, um... You know, some, some sugar. Sure, yeah. And once you bribe Bob with the sugar, the door will magically open. Now, before I can put the safety seal of approval on the city's defenses, I need to find a way to protect my boy, Kevin. Because once I leave to go help Tazo on his mission, this village will have to survive all on its own. And what better way to protect the village than to build a massive over-the-top tower that's completely inaccessible to anyone but Kevin. Okay, there are probably some better options that could do... This final tower will be entirely dedicated to my dear villager, Kevin. Alright, so far this thing looks like a, uh, a tennis ball container. So to fix that, I went ahead and added supports on the sides of the building that will hold this tower. However, there was still a slight problem with this thing. It, it's not tall enough. Now you might be saying that, yes, this is in fact the tallest tower in the city. And you'd be right. However, considering I was nearing the end of this project, my brain has gotten considerably smoother and therefore made the wise decision to make this tower taller by getting nine beacons. I'm not even joking. With the beacon in place, I added in the final additions to this tower before any of the redstone. God damn, this thing looks sick! So goddamn long to build. But I wasn't done there. Kevin should be king of the city, and as king, you must be able to oversee your entire kingdom from above. So I went ahead and constructed Kevin a custom flying machine that oversees his whole city. All right, Kevin, off we go. Kevin, I need, I need you to look at me as we fly out. You know, Three, two, one. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold your horses there, Bucko. This village still needs to undergo the final test. Kazo's Day of Reckoning. While Aeon is hosting the events, we're all going to be building... Now, my job was to distract the other server members from going to spawn. That way, Tazo and the rest of the team could build a thousand sheep at spawn. And to do so, I decided to host the game show. However, I also decided to host such game show 200 blocks away from my redstone village. Listen, man, I'm clearly not the sharpest tool in the show. I asked one Google search what the most active Minecraft countries are. Okay. United States, India. What are you doing to us? Yeah. What is going on? There's so many sheep! Destroy the sheep! And after finally completing the mission, I returned home to a missing camp. Oh my god, man, I, I knew this was a mistake. I knew trusting anyone on this server would be a massive mistake. The people on this server clearly valued their Minecraft pets higher than the other people of the server. And even though the Redstone Village was built for the purpose of protecting Kevin, it did quite the opposite. However, instead of getting revenge, I decided that I must be brave enough and break the cycle. I've invited you all here today in order to break the Outcast SMP curse. Many of you have fought wars for your pets, like Meep, Gary, I don't know any more pets. Uh, I lost yeah. my own pet villager. His name was Kevin. And uh, I was gonna enter the vicious cycle of hate and join you all in the wars, but today I decided to do something a little different. Please, everyone, come into the portal. Everyone, welcome to the Redstone Village! This <laughs> actually looks so cool. Why? This is crazy. Wait, you have a villager I'm the yellow one. It's like McDonald's. Hold on a no, second. Wait, wait, wait. So I built the city because uh, my pet villager Kevin. I didn't want the same thing to happen to him that happened to Gary. Um, but bad. unfortunately, where is Kevin? He got lost. Oh, Everyone, please look at my screen. Just... This this is the first ever footage of me finding Dude, Kevin. That's Gary. That's that's just that's Gary. Gary, as in like the first villager that got lost. As yeah, I think villager. that Kevin and Gary is the same person. You killed. Gary. Well, this is gonna make a great end for your video. Uh, come here. I want. I want my. I want my beloved Gary back. Come here. 